Hey guys, the objective of this video is to find the initial and final settlement at an edge outside our strip footing. So we've got an example here, we've got 20 meters of soil with a 10 meter in length strip footing and we've given these properties for our situation. So we're now concerned at a point outside our strip footing. So we want to find the settlement out here, which is say two meters beyond our strip footing. So what we'll do is we would draw our strip footing in plan. So we have like this, it's 10 meters. And we want to find it at a point two meters beyond this. So this is an additional two meters. So as I said in the previous video, and just sort of like the rectangles we were dealing with a couple series ago, we need to ensure that whatever shapes we're using, we have a edge at that point we're looking at. So our critical edge is this edge I'm doing in a thicker black line. So we need to make sure that every shape we're dealing with has an edge there. So for this situation, what we're going to do is, is just like the rectangle, we need to get back to where the pressure's applied. So the pressure's only applied over our strip footing, which is from there to there, so it's in that region. So we're going to go add this total area in blue, because that has an edge at the edge we're concerned with, but that isn't where the pressure's applied. The pressure's only applied in this region here. Okay, so we're going to have to subtract this red, red section off, which will get us back to our actual strip footing. So if I were to draw these two shapes, we would have a shape like this. So this is positive, and this is a length of 12 meters. So this is 12 meters. And the other shape, which is negative, has a length of 2 meters. So we have to find the settlements from both these cases, and we'll take this one and subtract it from that one. So we take, yeah, we take this one and subtract this one. So we have H equals 20 meters. So that's given in the question. We now know that B for this case is two is uh, 12 meters, which means that we would use H on B equals 20 on 12, which equals 1.67. If I use B on H, I would fall outside the spectrum for this graph.